Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video we're going to learn how to clean currency data in R. Now as you may be aware, when we import data into R, we sometimes uh, are not able to do the things that we want to do such as calculations because of things like missing values and also in currency data that there may well be uh, currency symbols and commas and so on in the data and we are going to need to uh, remove those. So before we start here, let's take a look at a file that I'm going to use in this video. This file uh, for video number 8 is called 78 data file, it's a CSV file. Don't forget that this file along with all other sample data files and R scripts used in this series of videos are available in my GitHub. You'll find a link to that in the information section on the YouTube page beneath this video. So let's um, read this file in and display its contents. And when you look at the data, this is uh, fictitious sales data that I have made up uh, for this video, we can see we've got 10 records and over on the right hand side we can see we have figures for sales and then we have the revenue from those sales and the revenues are listed in, in dollars. We can see we have a dollar sign and a comma sign in the revenue figures. The sales figures here, there are no special characters, no special symbols, so that one is all right. So if I wanted to do something like calculate the mean revenue, so let me do that. Mean sales data, dollar sign, revenue. So if I run this line of code, you will see I'm getting a mess, an error message. NA is returned along with a warning message. And the reason for that is there are two reasons. One is there are these special characters, the dollar sign and the comma sign in the data and the R uh, cannot ha um, handle that. But also because these symbols are in the revenue variable, uh, these variables are treated as a character data type. Therefore, we cannot perform calculations on it. So in order to calculate something like the mean or do anything else with the revenue data, we need to do two things. First, we're going to remove the comma. And secondly, we're going to remove the dollar sign. So let's start off by removing the comma. So what I need to do is I want to take the comma out. So I'm, and essentially what I'm doing is a replacement. I'm going to take the comma and replace it with a blank. I'm not going to replace it with a space, just replace it with a blank. So that the figure beco figures become uh, data without commas in them. So the way I do this is, first of all, I'm going to reassign um, my sales data revenue variable. So let's get that up first. Dollar sign revenue. So I want to reassign this. So to substitute the uh, comma with a blank. And the way I do this is I use the assignment operator and use the G sub function. So don't forget, you can find out, as always, in the help area in the uh, uh, um, in the um, our section over here. Um, let me take a look, G S U B. Take a look at G sub, and you can find out information about this, such as the description, parameters, and some examples as to how it is used. So the G sub function here, a uh, little bit awkward at first with the first time you're using it. So I want to replace the comma. So all I'm simply going to do is using inverted commas and then put the comma in there. So I want to replace that character. Remember, this is a character variable. And I want to replace that with a blank, and that's just simply two inverted commas by themselves. No space, nothing in between. Comma again, and I need to tell the G sub function what my data uh, variables are. And in this case here, it's the revenue variable. Okay, so this is going to replace this comma, any comma that occurs in the data variable revenue, replace it with a blank. And again, warning here that there's nothing in the middle of this. So let me run this piece of code and display sales data again. I'm going to display all the data. So let me run this piece of code and sales data, so, whoops, a capital S, I should have a lowercase s there. So run this again. And we can see now that in the revenue column, there are no commas listed. So that has worked. I still can't calculate the mean of this because we have the dollar sign in it. So now I must remove the dollar sign. So the um, um, same approach here again. So sales data, sales data, dollar sign, revenue, assignment to operator, G sub function again. Um, and as the tactic as before, I want to replace the dollar sign uh, this time uh, with another blank. 
So let's start out by putting in my, as before, my inverted commas, and I want to place the dollar sign in here, but here's where I need to be careful. Now the dollar sign is a special character in R. So for example, you can see it's used uh, already in line 13 to link the data file sales data with the revenue variable. So I can't just do that because that will mess up my data. It's a special character. So R needs to know that it is a, a, a piece of text. And to do that, we put two backslashes in front of the dollar sign to let R know that it is a text character that we are replacing here. Comma again, and again, two inverted commas with no space in between them, followed by another comma and then sales data to let the G sub function know which variable it is going to use. So, okay, so this is going to replace the dollar sign with the two backslashes in front of it to indicate that this is not a special character, that it's a piece of text. Replace it with a blank, and it's the sales data revenue function that we are, or revenue data that we are doing. So click on run. And if I print out the file again, so let's run that. Again, I've done the capital S, excuse me for that. So lowercase s it should be. And now you can see that the revenue figure has not only the, the commas removed, but also the currency symbol removed here as well. So whatever your currency symbol is, you should be able to remove it in the same way as I have removed the dollar symbol here. So now if I attempt to calculate the mean of the uh, sales data revenue variable, run this line of code to calculate the mean, um, we can see that we've got another error. So what is going on here? Um, the reason for this is that R is still treating the revenue variable as a character. So we have not changed the data type. So we need to coerce this character data set, which revenue still is, even though there are numbers in it, we need to co coerce that to a numeric value. So let's go ahead and do that. So sale, let's reassign sales data one more time. Sales data, dollar, dollar sign, revenue, so it's just this variable that we need to do, and then use the assignment operator and the as.numeric function. And chain, again, it's the sales data variable that we want to use, dollar sign revenue. Okay, so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm taking, the, currently as things stand, the sales data revenue variable is a character. So this function here, as.numeric, will coerce it into a numeric value variable. So let's now run this piece of code and finally try and uh, this fine for the final time try to um, calculate the mean of the sales data variable and the revenue variable within that run and we can finally now get that the mean value of the say of the uh, revenue figures is 31088.4 so no, no um, sim symbols are there and there's no commas listed there as well so this is a good way to learn um, that uh, commas uh, which and currency symbols, which we would normally get in data sets. So uh, very often you'll see this in data sets and you might want to keep that in the original data set. Uh, so not to, you could of course go out to Excel or something and, and do global replacements, uh, but you might like to keep the symbols on it for um, uh, readability purposes, but within R we need to remove them. So that's how you remove uh, commas and currency symbols to clean data in uh, R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.